What's the crack, lads and lassies? My name is Kawa. Welcome to today's Marvel Snap Community Spotlight for Legion. I'm super excited to be talking to you guys about this card today. So if you don't already know, Legion is a five energy, eight power card, and he reads on reveal, replace each other location with this one. I've spent a lot of time thinking about Legion and different types of combos that you can pull off with this card. So initially my brain went straight to location interaction cards, such as Scarlet Witch, the new updated magic from the last OTA, and Storm. So I couldn't quite find a, a really good combo straight off the bat because Legion's ability is so unique and we only have a few cards within the game that can really interact with locations like the ones I just mentioned and also like Quake and stuff like that. But I think I found the God combo for Legion. I'm going to showcase that in today's video. The combo I want to pull off involves Storm and Legion. So initially I had the idea and I actually quickly realized that this won't work in the traditional sense in terms of if you play Storm on turn four, that location becomes flooding. So then if you play Legion on turn five, that will copy the flooding location, not the flooded location. So on turn six, the locations won't all be flooded. They'll be flooding. So it doesn't mean that you'll be locked out of playing cards on any locations. However, I think I found the solution to this problem. Introducing Snowguard. Snowguard is a card that hasn't seen too much love recently, but I think if you pair specifically the Hawk, with this combo, on reveal, ignore all location abilities next turn, you can indeed pull off this combo. So the idea is you play Storm on turn three. On turn four, you play the Hawk wherever you want. Maybe, you know, you play a Juggernaut on the Storm lane as well to just push something out of there. And then you play Legion onto the uh, flooding or flooded location. And then on turn six, it locks both players out of playing any cards on any locations. So a bit of a wild, wacky combo. I'm excited to pull it off. Let's jump straight into it, guys. All right, so game one here, guys. I do want to quickly talk about the deck that I threw together. So there's definitely some cards that you can replace in here. For example, I think the Vision is easily replaceable with Spider-Man. I just opted for Vision instead because I think that he will probably work well when I've established a Goose Lane and then also if I, you know, Storm a uh, location. So turn one here, obviously we can't do much. We do have Jeff in the opening hand, so that's great. So let's move on to turn two. All right, he plays Blade. And discards infinite. Okay, so straight off the bat, I feel like this is a hella deck. I'm getting getting hella deck vibes. Stark Terror is pretty good. I can throw uh, Jeff there. Hopefully, he'll get the buff on turn five, and then we can choose to to move him. Uh, let's see what we got. Ant Maze. Okay. Um, I'm all, I'm actually fine with playing Magic here. I think, like I said, I kind of like the idea of like you play Magic, and then like an, another option you can do with Legion is you can actually shut off Limbo on turn five or on turn six, you know what I mean? To end the game early. So I think playing magic on the vault here is probably fine. Uh, I mean, we have ways to put stuff into the vault on turn six. I mean, we like Nightcrawler, Vision, Doctor Doom. But against the Hella deck, if he does draw the Hella, there's uh, not much we can do against that. We do the Shang-Chi. So if we allow him to keep priority, then our Shang-Chi might be able to do some work uh, towards the end of the game. Okay, yeah, this is 100% a Hella deck at the moment. Goose is very good here. Uh, it does mean that they can't play their Hella behind their Invisible Woman. So I think I'm definitely down to do that. Do I want to play something into Ant Maze yet? I think I'm fine with just keeping Nightcrawler here. I can probably just play um, Vision into Ant Maze to give it a bit, bit of a buff. But I think the Goose mid here is like a really, really good play. Like I said, to stop any uh, Hella shenanigans. Hellcow, it does discard Hella. Okay, so that's fine. We are, we're doing fine now. Don't have to worry about that <laughs> coming out now. There will possibly still be a Ghost Rider in their deck, so I yeah, do have to remember that. Okay, and here's the Legion. This is this is what I talked about, right? So we can, like, literally just shut off. Um, we can shut off a location here. So I'm definitely going to do Vision. Uh, do I want to snap? I'm not even going to snap here. I just want to try and show off this combo. So I'm going to do Vision here. And then I can simply do uh, Legion on Ant Maze to shut off Limbo, which I don't know how much that's going to impact the game, but in certain scenarios, right, in certain situations, I think it's really good. Okay, Magneto's gone. They must have, like, nothing in their hand. Yeah, they've got no cards in their hand. This just has to be a win right now. And Vision moving here for the extra buff is actually insane. Oh, my God. Um, I mean, well, okay, we, we, we got we got Scarlet Witch to, to shoot off Limbo, but this is a Legion video. We might as well show off the pair of this card. I think it's better to do anyways. Um, But, like, I can do this. There's already a lot of power here. I probably just move Vision. Uh, and then there'll be nine. How much am I on if I move vision? 
go down to 13. We actually tie if I move vision, so maybe I don't move vision. Maybe I just move Jeff. Yeah, sure, let's just, uh, let's just move Jeff. Or actually, I can move, I can move Jeff and my crawler, that way, uh, probably an even split. They're only gonna play one card here, which is Odin, which does nothing, and we just, uh, we just win the game. Legion will shut off Limbo, and they will win the mid and right lane. So that's one of the potential combos that you can do with Legion. Super, super cool. But I'm really excited. I really want to pull off the Storm, Snow Guard, and Legion combo. All right, let's hope we can do it this time. We do have the Storm in the opening hand. We draw a card. Legion? There's Legion. Okay, and now... So it's very important, and it's kind of tricky, but we have to... In order for this combo to work, there's so many specifics for this to work, but we have to draw into Snow Guard on either turn two or turn four, because if it's in our opening hand, it will always be Hawk. And then it won't work because then on turn four, it will be bare. So right now, we have a really good, really strong hand. Probably one of the best hands you can have in this deck. So we want to draw into Snow Guard on turn two or turn four. It's very specific, but let's hope we can do it, guys. Come on. Come on. Hell's Kitchen? That has to be it, right? We did it! We did it! Okay, I'm going to snap. Oh, but do I even oh, do I even attempt snapping because then I might leave? Right, I'm not. we're not going to snap. We're not going to snap because I want to show off this combo, right? We'll just play Jeff. We'll just play Jeff, and then we do Storm, Snow, and if I can get, I think, like, the the cherry on top that if you can get here is if you can get Juggernaut to go along with the Storm Snow Guard, it's really good. So, uh, let's hope this works. There's no, oh, I want to snap. Do I snap? Do I snap? No, no, no. Okay, okay. Don't snap, but this is combo time, right? We'll, we'll get rid of the Mur Island. I think that's, uh, that's fine. Oh, no, wait. I think we want to... We want to make sure that they can't do anything on the, the lizard. Hmm, actually, wait. Right, no, it's fine. We'll do uh, we'll do Storm here. Then we do Juggernaut. We do Snow Guard. But then the problem is, how do I how do I win the other lanes, right? I, I, am I re really relying on just Jeff to win the other lanes here? I might be. I don't think I have to play the Juggernaut here is the thing. Oh, I guess I could do Goose. I could do Goose. They snapped me. I have to snap back now. They're going to stay in. They're going to stay in, right? So I could do Juggernaut, I can do Snow Guard, but then I still have to play Legion to shut down all lanes. So I don't know how good the Juggernaut actually is. I probably want to like stack up the 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 lanes. And I don't have to do I don't have to do Snow Guard on flooding. I think I want to try and just do like this. Because I feel like I'll be able to win flooding. Okay. I'm gonna do this. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Cause I feel like the Legion. Like, I feel like 10 will be enough on flooded. And then I just to be able to move cards around. So the bit, the most important thing here is that, okay, the, I'm just quickly realizing this combo is not going to be good very often, but it's definitely fun, right? So we Legion here. This means everything's going to be shut down next turn. And we just have to hope that they don't be 10 on right and that they don't be 8 on mid. Come on. Come on. They played left. They played left. Let's go. Let's go. They have to just leave, right? They have to just leave. We did it. We did the combo. Oh my god, this was so much harder to pull off than I thought. But look, I can't play any cards. They can't play any cards. It's a GG. It's a GG. Let's go. Oh my god. That combo was ridiculous. Ridiculous. It, the one in 100 times you'll be able to pull it off. But man, I'm so happy we did that. Can Legion do some crazy shenanigans for us here? We've got the Nightcrawler turn one. Pretty good. Opponent's playing ant once again. So probably some sort of zoo or... Probably a Spectrum deck. Could be a Spectrum deck. Ant Maze. Snow Guard on two. Oh my god. Am I, am, am I about to do... I think I'm about to do this two games in a row, guys. Like, And I think it's really important. Obviously, we got blessed with Ant Maze here. But to have the move cards like Nightcrawler and Jeff, when you, you know, in the one in a million chance that you get to do this combo, I think it's really good. Because then, when everything's shut down, you can just move your cards about. So, Jeff on Ant Maze, 100% here. Again, I still need to draw into Legion to see if I can even do it. But there's going to be a possibility here. And oh my god, Mirror Dimension could copy. There's the Legion. Oh, I can't snap because I feel like our opponent's going to leave. Do I do? Oh, okay, I'll just do Storm mid. I'll just do Storm mid. That that seems okay. That seems okay. Maybe Storming... Uh, the Ant-Man lane is a little bit better, so he doesn't fully fill that up. Shocker coming down. This must be... Okay, this is looking like a Patriot deck for sure. Definitely looking like a Patriot deck. Um, Alright, so we're... Doing Snow Guard. I guess I can do magic as well if I really want to. I guess it's probably good that I do magic so I can compete a little bit with this lane. Uh, or I could do... Even magic on this lane seems fine because it 
allows me to at least move the Nightcrawl. No, okay, no, we'll do magic on this lane. And then Legion mid. I could snap. I'm going to snap here. I'm curious to see if they leave, but we have the combo right now. The combo is going to happen right here. They play mid. Mr. Sinister. Okay. They need to get a blue Marvel or a Patriot out next turn. And if they can't do that, I'm, I'm pretty sure we just win with this lockdown. All right, so Snowguard activated. Here comes the Legion. And now, here we go. Nothing can be played. There is the blue Marvel, like I said. That's going to be a GG's, right? I mean, he's winning difference right now, but the sole reason why we're able to win this game right here is because we can move Jeff. And like, I don't even have to move Nightcrawler, but I move Nightcrawler, I just win. I just win because of that. Let's go! Two times we pull off the combo. Oh my word. That was wild. So, what are my initial impressions after messing around with Legion for a little bit? I think he's a super fun card, super unique ability. Uh, I think there's a lot of cool, wacky things that you can do with him, as you saw from the the crazy combo I just pulled off this video. Um, but I think I can very much compare him to how Black Bolt was received initially, right? It's a 5A, has a, an ability that is unique, interesting, but doesn't really work within a specific type of deck necessarily until, you know, Black Bolt received Stature, which was its kind of like supporting card. And then we saw Black Bolt in one of the most popular decks within the game, right? So I think uh, Legion might be a similar situation. Within the next few months, we may see a card being released from Second Dinner that will, you know, support the location interaction archetype or just support Legion himself in some sort of way. So I'm super excited for Legion's future to see what all of you guys come up with. If you guys have any crazy combos, let us know down below in the comments. And uh, yeah, but that's it for me, guys. Uh, super happy I was able to showcase this card for you. Uh, thanks for watching the video and I'll catch you in the next one.